This is the NESPAC workshop, New England State Police Compact. So we brought in uh, state police from all over the Northeast and we're doing a three-day workshop on blood pattern analysis and shooting reconstruction. So we're spending three days with them doing some mock crime scenes and we're gonna scan them, document and reconstruct them just as if it was a real crime scene. We wanna make sure that we're the best at it, that we're using the, the best tools that we can get in the best manner. So really it helps us be better at it. It helps us to, to talk to these guys that work with this stuff all the time, have helped develop it. We have the most advanced public safety and forensic software on the market where whether they're investigating a shooting or a uh, blood pattern case, or they have to go out and reconstruct a fatal crash if they're flying drones, doesn't matter what they're doing to capture the data, Faro has a software that can take in that data, reconstruct that scene, and then create a deliverable for that courtroom. We not only want to show them how to use the tools, but we want them to know how the data was captured, how the data was created, and then they can go back and use that data in the software to do an analysis on. And having the data in hand, they can actually do a, their own validity study. Faro gives our law enforcement customers the opportunity to not only preserve the crime scene, but to virtually bring a jury member or anybody else back to that crime scene. We try to scan every one of our crime scenes, our, our major crime scenes with the scanner. So this workshop just keeps us refreshed. Every time we come in, we learn a little something new. The software is actually made for police officers. Because it's so easy and it can be learned quickly, it's really beneficial for them. We provide all the tools to uh, make all those scans come together to create a three-dimensional model of their space, of their crime scene or their crash scene. We did a blood stain pattern. We're putting that into the software. It creates digital lines in the software. So we can present that to our prosecutors, to juries, uh, judges, whoever needs it. And they can see the area of origin and area of convergence of blood spatter, where it came from, how it got there. Faro gives them the solutions that they need to go out and better document these scenes and reconstruct them. It allows them to have the most advanced technology right, to solve these crimes. It allows them to process and document these scenes much faster with better accuracy than we ever have in the past. As we continue to evolve the technology on our side, it gives them the opportunity to keep hands on and really focused on improving their utilization of the, the technology and sharpening their skills. The reason we're in this field is to, to bring what's right, bring justice, and the truth is the most important thing of what really happened. And we need to, to capture that. We're here to serve the public, so it's what we do and we need to use every bit of technology and every bit of learning we can for it.